All right, let's find that comfortable seated position. Let the eyes softly shut. And check in with your nervous system, check in with your breath. And as we've been talking about this morning, notice any of the distractions. Notice notice what thoughts are coming in and even notice what parts of the body are trying to pull you away from this center of this long spine. Starting to let the breath get a little longer. And something I've noticed with distraction is that the more that I try to force a distraction away, the more that I try to force a thought away or I try to force a spot in my body to relax, the more that you're giving it energy. You're, you're giving it that attention to become more and more prevalent. But when we can just come back to this long, deep breath and on each inhale, inhale in whatever those distractions are. Notice the traffic outside. Notice maybe you have some crazy neighbors or notice whatever those distractions are, whatever thoughts are coming up. And then as you exhale, just ask them to let go. Take a deep inhale in and notice what other distractions are coming in. Maybe this time it's the distraction of a bird chirping, holding the breath at the top. Maybe it's the distraction of a shoulder releasing or a hip releasing. And then open the mouth, exhale it out. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. Hold the breath at the top. And sometimes their distractions are not necessarily awful, terrible things. Sometimes a distraction can actually be a pull to something new so that we can let go of these negative distractions from this constant feed of information that's coming in. So open the mouth and let it out. Take another huge inhale in through the nose. Hold the breath at the top. And then notice with what you are left. Maybe it's a little quieter. And as these new distractions start to come in, these new thoughts, the we even have phantom text messages and worrying about all of these, this constant feed of information. One last time, open the mouth, let it out. Take a deep breath in through the nose for three, two, one. Slow exhale out the nose, three, two, one. Deep inhale in, three, two, one. Slow exhale out, three, two, one. Keep this even breath going in and out. And then notice this space. Notice where you are right now. And see if you can hold on to this space as we begin to move. I want you to think about each pose that we come into as a distraction from this breath, from this space. The reason that we challenge our body, we challenge our nervous system, is so that we can learn to find this breath no matter where we are. When we can learn to find our breath in an impossible position on our mats, we can learn to find our breath in an impossible situation in our lives. So let each crazy pose that we come into and each sensation through our nervous system be exactly what it is, just a distraction. Just a distraction from a long inhale and a long exhale. Inhale the arms out and up. Bring the palms together, exhale them down in between the eyes. May your practice cultivate enlightened thoughts. Inhale, exhale the hands in front of the mouth. May your practice cultivate enlightened speech. Inhale, exhale the hands in front of the heart. May all of your practices cultivate an enlightened heart.
Take one more deep inhale in. Press your palms together. Feel the space between your shoulders. And then exhale. Place your hands out in front of you. Roll up into tabletop. With the hands right under your shoulders, knees slightly behind your hips, press down through the tips of the fingers and tips of the toes. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. And exhale in reverse, center of the back high, really engage your core. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. And exhale, reverse, take a few cat and cows at the pace of your breath. And now that we're moving and we're activating all these new parts of the nervous system, can you still find that same space, those same long breaths, recognizing that the movement and all of these reactions to the nervous system are just a distraction, just a distraction from a deep breath, allowing the spine to come back to neutral. Start to reach the right heel back behind you. Be sure the right hip is right next to the left, not stacked on top. Really feeling that length through the heel, the activation through the hamstring. Pull the core in and up. Transfer the weight a little more toward the right hand. Really press down with that whole palm. And then reach the left fingertips out. Keep the gaze down on the earth. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales. And yes, we're starting to activate the body more. There's more happening through the nervous system. There's balance. There's work happening. But can you still just find a long inhale and a long exhale? And then take an inhale in. Get everything a little higher. Exhale, pull the elbow into your knee. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, pulling elbow to knee. Inhale, reach out and up. This time, gently place it down. Turn the left fingertips in and reach the right fingers through. Open up through that right shoulder, through the spine, lengthen through the spine. Same deep breaths. Now, so often when we start to activate the nervous system, when we start to create all of this experience through the body, we often want more or less. We tend to think, okay, well, if I'm moving, then I want to be moving like a crazy person and building up all of this sweat and heart rate. Or maybe it's the, oh, I just don't want to try quite that hard. I just want to Do it really slow and easy. See if you can find that middle ground. Find the space where you are challenging yourself enough so that it does take a little extra effort to come back to those same long inhales and long exhales. But not challenging yourself too much that you get lost in the distraction. All of these poses, all of this asana is a distraction, so don't let it be about the distraction. Let it just be about your breath. Still learning to expand the capacity of our breath, the capacity of our ability to experience bliss even when we're being challenged. Slowly unwind, coming back through center. And then inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale in reverse. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, press down to the tips of the fingers, tips to the toes. Exhale in reverse. Allow the spine to come back to neutral. Start to reach that left heel back, really spreading the fingers, spreading the toes. Feeling the length through that left heel, really feeling solid down through your foundation, engaging the core, pulling it in and up, and then reaching those right fingertips out, taking those same deep breaths, find those full inhales, full exhales. Find a challenge, enough of a challenge, that you feel your breath expanding more and more, 
but not so much of a challenge that it actually becomes about the challenge. And instead, let it be about your breath. Inhale, get everything a little higher. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach it out and up. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, reach one more time. And slowly coming back to center, turn the right fingertips in. Reach the left fingers through. Find that length in the spine, length in the twist. Notice if the hips are swaying to one side or the other. Try to bring them back in alignment. Finding that same deep inhale in. Long exhale out. Now these twists are a great way to find the level of challenge that you would like for your breath. The deeper you twist, the harder it becomes to gently force the breath down into your diaphragm, down into that deep space underneath your ribs. As you twist, that space gets tighter and tighter. But even as that space gets tight, see if you can still take those three inhale in, Three, exhale out. And finding that space where you are expanding your capacity for breath, but not constricting it by challenging it so much. Find that space in between, that balance. Slowly coming back through center. Unwind, come into tabletop. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Sinking the heart, pressing down through the tips of the fingers. Grounding down through your palms. You can bend one knee and then the other if you would like. Or you would like to wake up down through your toes. And then on an inhale, coming forward to plank. Exhale, floating down, chaturanga, elbows in, shoulders way out. Exhale, all the way down to your mat, untuck your toes, engage your low back. Inhale, lift your heart, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, releasing down, tuck the toes, elbows in. On an inhale, center of the back high, engage your core up to plank. Exhale, back downward facing dog. Inhale, coming forward to plank. Move with your breath. Exhale, floating down. Chaturanga, shoulders out, elbows in, all the way down. Untuck the toes. Inhale, shine the heart up. Engage the low back. Cobra, exhale, releasing down. Tuck the toes. Inhale, up for plank. Center of the back high. Exhale, back downward facing dog. Inhale, coming up to the balls of the feet. Turn the gaze forward. Step to the front of the mat. Exhale, down, forward fold. Feet hip distance apart, second toe lined up with the ankle, knee, and hip on each side. Put a nice deep bend in your knees. Release your torso, release your head, clasp opposite elbows if you would like. Just really let the torso be heavy, even touching your chest down to your thighs by bending nice and deep into your knees. And then notice where your thoughts are, notice where your breath is. Did you get caught up in the distractions? Did you get caught up in all of the words, or were you still with your breath the whole time, still in this same space? It's hard, it's challenging. As we start to move more and more, as life gets more and more chaotic, it's the challenge to come back to that same deep breath, that solar plexus, the confidence, the space of our balance, the seat of our breath. Bring your hands to your shins. Inhale, coming halfway up. Start to straighten your legs. Exhale, release down. Bend into the knees. Release a little deeper. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale and release. Maybe keeping the legs a little straighter. Inhale, halfway up. 
Maybe keeping the legs nice and straight, releasing down a little deeper as you exhale. Bending into the knees slightly, inhale, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Really feel each vertebra stacking on the next. See if you can keep that inhale going, sipping in a little more air in through the mouth. Reach the fingers up. Hold the breath. Open the mouth, exhale it out, <sighs> hands to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, lead with the heart all the way down to the toes. Inhale, coming halfway up, tuck the chin long through the spine. Exhale, releasing a little deeper. Inhale, bend deeply into the knees, reach the fingers up, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, lead with the heart, straighten the legs, dive all the way down, long through the hamstrings. Inhale, rolling up one vertebra at a time, little bend in the knees. Keep that inhale going, sip in a little more air in through the mouth. Hold the breath. Exhale out the mouth, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach out and up. Maybe a little back bend as you reach. Keep the core engaged. Exhale, lead with the heart all the way down. Inhale, halfway up. Tuck the chin, feeling long. Stay connected to that space. Releasing down, forward fold. Don't let the distractions take over. Inhale, bending deeply into the knees. Reach the fingers up. Utkatasana. Not worrying about where we're going. Exhale, lead with the heart, straighten the legs, just listening. Listening to your breath. Inhale, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Reach the arms out and up. Sip in a little more air in through the mouth. Hold the breath. Open the mouth, exhale. Hands to heart center. One more time. Inhale, reach out and up. You know where we're heading, so follow your breath. Exhale it all the way down. Inhale halfway up. Hold on to that same space that we had when we were seated comfortably. Exhale, releasing down, even though we're moving. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, lead with the heart. Inhale, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Feel that little bit of extra space. Sip in a little more air in through the mouth. Hold the breath at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center, out the mouth. This time, bend deeply into the knees. Inhale, reach the fingers up, chair pose. Same deep breaths. Find that nice neutral spot for the pelvis. Transfer the weight a little more towards your heels. Get your chest a little higher. Keep the shoulders plugged in. Reach the fingertips long. Tuck the chin in. Keep the core engaged. If there's any work happening in your low back, get your chest a little higher. Let all the work be in your legs. Find those same long inhales and long exhales. Let it be about your breath. Not getting caught up in all of the work that's happening in the body. Not getting caught up in all of the alignment and verbal adjustments I gave. Just finding that breath. Take one more inhale in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take the right elbow on the outside of the left thigh. Push down with that left hand. Notice if your knees collapse in toward each other. See if you can bend a little deeper. Keep the weight evenly distributed in your feet. Find those same deep breaths. Your legs might be starting to feel a bit on fire. Maybe your body is starting to warm up. See if you can still just find those same deep breaths. On an inhale, come back. Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Place the left elbow on the outside of the right thigh. And then notice if those thighs are just on fire and just don't want to do anything else. See what happens if you can feel it as a distraction. And so find somewhere else in the body to put your focus, maybe trying to activate your hamstrings, maybe trying to activate your toes. See if that can take some of the work out of your thighs. 
And then on an inhale, coming back, chair pose. Exhale, lead with the heart, straighten the legs. Ah. Heel toe your feet out to the edges of your mat. Release down, nice and deep. Release the head and neck. Put a nice deep bend in your knees. Interlace your hands behind your back. Really feel your shoulders like they're trying to come in between your knees. Pinkies up over your head and then start to straighten your legs as much as you can. Really feeling that space in between your shoulder blades. The length in the neck, the weight of the head. Letting it all release down. Transferring the weight toward the balls of your feet but not gripping your toes. Same long inhales. Long exhales. Releasing the hands down. Stepping back to plank. Take a few deep breaths, engaging the core, center of the back high. Bring your feet together, back behind you. On an inhale, roll onto the outside of the right foot, reach the left fingers up. Exhale, coming back through center. You can exhale all the way down to Chaturanga or just stay in plank. Inhale, rolling onto the outside of the left foot, reach the right fingers up. Engage the obliques, hips high. Exhale down to center. You can head all the way down to Chaturanga or stay in plank. Inhale onto the outside of that right foot. Left fingers up. Are you still finding those same deep breaths? Exhale down through center. Inhale over to the left side or right fingers up. This time everybody exhale coming through center. Exhale all the way down to the earth. Take the left hand out to the left side, lined up with the left shoulder, press down with that whole left palm, bend the right knee, send the right heel up and over. Keeping that left shoulder active while opening, pressing down with that whole palm. Same deep breaths, maybe reaching those right fingers up and back. Are you still in that same space, still with that same breath that we had at the beginning of our practice? The same long inhales and long exhales. Each of these challenges to the nervous system are just that. They're just a challenge, just a distraction. Just an experience that is pulling us away from our breath so that we might learn to strengthen our breath. Slowly coming back through center. Reach the right arm out to the right side. Bend the left knee. Send that left heel up and over. Press down with that whole right palm. Keep that right shoulder active. Maybe reaching those left fingertips up and back. Feeling that opening, not only through the shoulder, but through your collarbone, all the way through your heart. Feel your heart opening up. Allowing yourself to trust your breath, trust those long inhales and long exhales. It might put you through some challenging spaces. It might put you through some challenging experiences. But learn to trust the long inhale and long exhale. Not getting caught up in the distractions, the distractions of struggle, the distractions of lack. And slowly coming back through center. Make a little pillow with your hands. Turn one cheek down. Take a few deep breaths, really pressing your diaphragm down into the earth. Notice any thoughts or worries or stresses that have come up. Acknowledge them. Let them go. Let yourself release. Starting to lift the chest, 
Then reach your fingers straight out in front of you, thumbs facing up. Bring your big toes together. Start to lift your heels. See if you can release your glutes so all the work is happening in your hamstrings and low back. And then maybe lifting the hands just a few inches off the earth. If this is too much, you can interlace the hands behind the back. Same deep breaths. You still find the long inhales and long exhales, even though pretty much every muscle in your body is active. There's probably a part of your body telling you it would like to come down. See if you can just recognize that distraction and breathe a little deeper. And then slowly bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Take them back toward your ribs. Release your feet down. Start to straighten the arms to whatever degree is comfortable, maybe coming all the way up for upward facing dog. Release the hips from side to side. And then head back for child's pose, knees nice and wide, big toes together. Really releasing through the low back, find the length in the spine, length in the breath. Maybe rocking the hips gently from side to side, making little circles on the earth with your forehead. Same deep breaths. Holding on to that same space, those same long inhales and long exhales through each of these challenges. And then find your way up, downward facing dog. Inhale the right heel up. Be sure that right hip doesn't stack at all on top of the left. Exhale, knee to nose. Softly place the right foot down near the right hand. Check that same alignment of second toe, ankle, knee, and hip on each side. Maybe taking the right foot a little farther out to the right side to create a nice firm foundation. Start to pull that left hip forward, right hip back. Take some of the weight out of the fingertips. And breathe. Pull the core in and up. Maybe floating the hands. Maybe even reaching the hands back behind you. Deep breaths. And then take the fingertips out in front of you. Take the weight forward and up. You can keep a little bend in that right knee if you need to, or straighten that right leg. Notice if the left hip is stacking it all on top of the right. Pull it back down. Maybe bringing one hand to heart center. Maybe slowly bringing both. Find that focal point. Same long inhales, long exhales. Allowing all of those strange sensations through the hip. Noticing them, not trying to get rid of them, but just noticing them. And then bend nice and deep into that right knee, send that left foot all the way back. When you feel stable here, find your way up, crescent pose. Keep that core engaged, pulling the hips forward, relax the shoulders, reach that left heel back. Bend into the right knee, but keep pulling back on the right heel so that right hamstring stays engaged. Find that focal point and breathe. Take one more inhale in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take the left elbow on the outside of the right thigh. Push down with that right hand. You can place that back knee down if you need to anytime. Otherwise, stay in it, reaching that left heel back, maybe opening the arms wide or bind if it's in your practice. Find that deep breath, especially down into these tight, twisted spaces, recognizing that you can challenge your breath as much as you would like here. This is a safe space so that you can learn to find your breath even when there's so many impossible things happening through the nervous system. Okay, one more inhale in. Exhale, slowly unwind. Make a little pillow with the left side of your mat. Place the left knee down and tuck the toes. Inhale, shine the heart up. 
And then exhale all the way back. Flex the right toes. Go ahead and sit down on the inside of that left foot. If this is too much on your knee, you can bring that left heel all the way around. Otherwise, leave that left heel back. Flexing the right toes, sitting up nice and tall. Start to walk out over the toes, hinging at the hips, feeling the whole pelvis tilting forward and releasing down. Grab on wherever you can, your toes, calf, and then inhale, coming up, making a little cobra, rolling the shoulders back. Exhale, release down a little deeper. Keep this inhale and exhale going. Connecting back to that same long inhale and long exhale, that the sensations in the body, sensations in that hamstring, they're just a distraction, just the distraction from a deep, well-deserved breath. And then as you're ready, start to release out over those toes. Release everything down. Let the head be heavy. Let the shoulders be heavy. Let the fingertips be heavy. But still finding those long inhales and long exhales. Recognizing that those sensations through the leg are just sensations. They're just pieces of the puzzle. Just neural synapses. You can choose to focus on them or to recognize them as a distraction and come back to a deeper breath. Slowly rolling up one vertebra at a time. Come all the way back forward to that lunge. Tuck the left toe, send the right foot back and up. Release that hip. Whew. Be nice to that hamstring. Find your way down through vinyasa. Connect it to your breath. Long inhales, long exhales, all the way back, downward facing dog. Inhale the left heel up. Exhale, bring it all the way through. Find that lunge on the other side. Pulling back on that left heel, maybe taking the left foot a little farther to the left. You really feel a nice firm foundation. Don't just sink into your flexibility, but pull that right hip forward and left hip back. Keep the hips active so that you can pull your core in and up. Take some of the weight out of the fingers. Maybe even float the hands back. Same deep breaths. Strengthening through that hamstring. On that left side, reaching that right heel back. And then take the fingertips out. Take the weight forward and up. Now we can strengthen through that left leg as well as open it up. Notice if that right hip is stacking it all on top of the left. Pull it back down so the toes are pointing right at the earth. Maybe bringing that one hand to heart center. Find your focal point. Maybe bringing both. Same long inhales. Long exhale. One more inhale in. Exhale, bend deeply into that left knee. Send those right toes all the way back. When you feel stable here, find your way up, crescent pose. Find that focal point. Keep pulling back on the left heel forward with the right hip. Engage the core. Same deep breaths. Even though the body is being challenged more and more, the nervous system is being challenged more and more, can you still find... A long inhale, long exhale. One more inhale in, 
Exhale, hands to heart center, right elbow, left thigh. Find that nice opening in the outside of that left hip. Push out with that left knee, back with that right elbow. Open the hands if you would like. Bind if it's in your practice. Wherever you are, find the challenge to your breath that is right in between pushing yourself too far where it becomes about the challenge and not pushing yourself enough so that your breath is not being challenged. Find that balance. Feel your capacity for breath expanding. Coming back to that same space when we were seated comfortably at the beginning of class. Same long inhales and long exhales. We're almost there. One more inhale in. Exhale, slowly unwind. Make a little pillow with the right side of the mat. Place that right knee down. Untuck the toes. Inhale, shine the heart up. Exhale, slowly rolling all the way back. Flex the left toes. Pull that left hip all the way back. Place it down. Pull the right heel around if you need to, or sit up tall and reach out. Hinging forward at the hips. Grab on wherever you can. Toes, calf. Take an inhale in. Cobra, roll the shoulders back. Pull your heart out over your toes. Push your femur back into your pelvic bone. Exhale and release. Inhale, coming up. And exhale and round. And in that same way, find those. Long inhales and long exhales. Close the eyes. Tap back into that same space, that same long, deep breath. Working on the capacity of your breath, not worrying about what's happening in your leg. Just noticing what's happening in that nervous system, allowing it, releasing it, coming back to that breath. And as you're ready, release out over those toes. Release everything down. Release everything but your breath, everything but those long inhales and long exhales. Allow those sensations to wash over you. Allow the tingling in the nervous system those strange sensations, not judging them or wishing them away or wishing more of them, just allowing them. Coming back to that same long inhale, long exhale. Slowly rolling up. One vertebra at a time. Come all the way back forward to that lunge. Tuck your back toes. Let the mat unroll. Send that left foot gently up and back. Be kind to that hamstring. Place that left foot down to meet the right. Inhale, coming forward through vinyasa. Moving with your breath. Inhaling through and up. Exhale back for child's pose. Take a few breaths. Notice if your child's pose feels just a little different. Just allow it to release down. Allow yourself to come back to that same breath. There's no need to think. There's no need to worry, to stress. Allow yourself to feel the bliss of not knowing. Find your way up, downward facing dog. Inhale that right heel up. 
Exhale, bring it forward and through. Place the back heel down. Find your way up. Warrior two. Opening the hips for the first time, really tucking to the long side of the mat, engage the core, reach the fingertips out, maybe walking that right foot a little farther forward so you can bend a little deeper. And then right elbow, right thigh, left arm reaches up and over, really tucking that right hip under, plugging that left shoulder in, finding that same deep breath. Yes, we're challenging the body a little more, but can we still just let it be about the breath? Maybe those right fingers come down, left fingers head up. Maybe the left fingers start to head behind the back. Maybe those right fingers go to meet the left. Same deep breaths, same long inhales and long exhales as that right hip and hamstring, that whole right leg starts to feel starts to have so many sensations run through it. See if you can just breathe a little deeper. And on an inhale, head all the way back. Peaceful warrior. Straighten the right leg. Reach with those right fingers. Tuck that right hip under. Reach down for your trikonasana. Still keeping that same activity through that right hip, so pulling that right hip back towards your left toes so the hamstrings stay active while they're opening. Deep breaths. And you can decide to stay here or bring the left hand to your hip, bend into the right knee, fingertips out, take the weight forward and up. Ardha Chandrasana. Or just stay right in Trikonasana. Trying to align each and every joint wherever you are. See if you can take the weight out of the right hand wherever you are. Long inhales. Long exhales. And then slowly find your way all the way back. Warrior two, wherever you are. Straightening the right leg. Turn the right toes in. Turn the left toes out. And bend down, warrior two. Pulling the feet in toward each other, engaging underneath the pelvic floor. Long inhales, long exhales. Shoulders right over the hips. Fingertips out and away. Pull the core in, bend a little deeper. Pull back on that left heel. Forget everything I just said and breathe. Left elbow, left thigh, right arm up and over. Find that deep breath. Are you still connected to that same space? The same long inhales and long exhales. Maybe reaching those left fingers down if your breath needs a little more of a challenge. Maybe reaching those right fingers back. Maybe those left fingers to me. Find the challenge that your breath needs, no more, no less. Recognize everything we're doing as a distraction just from that breath, from those deep, deep inhales. Long, slow exhale. Inhale, find your way all the way up. Peaceful warrior. Straighten the left leg. And then reach out for your trikonasana, aligning each and every joint, keeping that left hamstring active, keeping your breath long, slowly with control with your breath, maybe bring the right hand to your hip, left fingertips out, find your way up, Ardha Chandrasana. Still connected to your breath. Still connected to that focus. And gently find your way back, warrior two. Straighten that left leg, turn the left toes in. This time, release down. Nice Pazarita Padottanasana, wide-legged forward fold. Release the head, neck, and shoulders. Let it all be heavy, released out in this nice restorative pose. And 
walk your hands over towards your left foot. If you can, just keep reaching or reach the out to the outside of that left ankle with the right hand. Reach the left hand in between your right forearm and your left shin for your opposite thigh. And pull yourself in. Same deep breath. And gently releasing, coming back through center, still connected to your breath. Walk over toward the right toes. Maybe just reaching toward the toes, or if you can grab the outside of that right ankle with the left hand, reach the right hand in between for that opposite thigh. Same deep breath. Keep reaching over toward the right toes. Turn the right toes out. Come into a lunge on the right side. Place the left knee down and tuck the toes. Walk the right toes to the left side of the mat. Really keep those toes active. Right knee down. If you need to, you can bring that left knee up to the sole of the right foot. Or just start to make your way out. Chest out over your shin. Right toes pulling in, pushing down, maybe making little fists with your hands to release the weight of the head. Making a little pillow. Find those same deep breaths. Find that same space we had at the very beginning of our practice. You seated comfortably. Recognizing that those sensations in the hip are just a distraction. Slowly coming up to your hands. Are you still here, still with your breath? Tuck those left toes back. Send that right foot back and up. Release that hip gently, however you would like. Place it down next to the left. Bring that left foot forward. Place that back knee down and tuck the toes. Walk the left foot over to the right side. Release down in your pigeon prep. Release the heart out over your shin. Make some sort of support for your head. The poor head, it's 10% of our body weight. We carry it around all the time. Just let it out, let it release. Let any of those stresses or worries release. So many things that are always keeping us from our breath, keeping us from that long inhale and long exhale. This time on our mats is like a beautiful dress rehearsal. It's this why it's called a yoga practice. Because we get to practice here first. We get to challenge the nervous system here in a safe space. So that when we are out in the crazy world, we're a little more prepared. It's a little easier to come back to our breath, because our breath is always right there. We just forget sometimes. We get so distracted. Distracted by all of our responsibilities, all that we need to do, all that we want to do. We forget about our breath. We forget about this space. So let it find a home now as you breathe.
slowly come up to your hands, tuck those right toes all the way back, spin that left foot gently back and up, release that hip, come into one final downward facing dog, notice if it feels just a little different now than it did at the beginning of our journey, and then find your way forward to plank, and then down to seated in a nice staff position. Pull the flesh away from your sits bones. Let your feet be nice and lined up with your hips. Heart nice and high. And start to walk out towards your toes. Grab on wherever you can, the calves, shins, toes. And then once again, inhale, find that little cobra. Exhale and release out. Inhale, coming up, pull wherever you can, heart out over your toes, long through the spine. Exhale and round. Keep these long inhales and exhales going, closing your eyes. Just focusing on your breath, letting the sensations through your body wash over you. Recognizing them just as sensations, just as synapses in the nervous system. You can choose to react or not react to them. Just continue to come back to your breath. And then as you're ready, release out, release the hands, release your toes, release the head, neck, and shoulders. Hold on to only your breath, only those long inhales and long exhales. These sensations that are going to start coming over your body are going to feel strange, maybe even foreign, unfamiliar. But they're just that. They're just sensations. They're just a distraction from your breath, a distraction from that long inhale and long exhale. So decide how much you would like to challenge your breath as you sit and breathe. Can you allow these sensations to just wash over you, to not react, but to just notice them? Start to let them feel normal. Let this sensation of your feet being up over your head be the normal sensation. That's, that's just how your body is. Can you still breathe so deep? Recognizing more and more that all of these strange sensations are just a distraction from that long, deep, deep breath. Still with your breath, ever so, so slowly, letting your head remain very, very heavy. 
one millimeter at a time, start to walk your hands back, start to stack the vertebra back on top of each other. And slowly find your way all the way down to your back, moving nice and slow, releasing it back down to the forearms, all the way back. Now, I absolutely love the sensation of going into Shavasana after a long for forward fold. So if that's the case for you, just release here and don't move a muscle. For some people, it's a little bit too much of a shock to the system to go from that forward fold right into Shavasana. So listening to your body and decide if you would like to bring your heels in toward your sits bones. And push the heels down and lift the hips up, coming into a nice, Easy little back bend. Just listening to your breath. Listening to your body. Gently releasing down from bridge. Pull that right knee up into your chest. Straighten that left leg out. Pull that right knee over the body into a nice gentle spinal twist finding those long inhales long exhales noticing all the sensations through the nervous system and letting them release finding space Coming back through center, straighten that right leg out, pull that left knee in. Pull the left knee over the body with the right hand. Just allowing the nervous system to settle. Being kind and patient. Listening. Slowly coming back through center. And everyone straightening out into a nice spinal shavasana. Tucking one shoulder blade and the other, releasing the toes. Release and relax your jaw. Release your tongue. Feeling all of those sensations through the nervous system. Feeling all of those distractions that we activated, that we dug into and got into. Breathing into those spaces so that each of those spaces through the nervous system can find a home, can find more room, so that the distractions we need to release can find space to release down into the earth underneath us. Breathing into this new space, these new habits. Yoga is an opportunity for our nervous system to reset itself. And so often from that reset, we start to pull back the same distractions that we had before. So as we spend this time in Shavasana, as much as you can, I want you to think about this space in between, this space just with your breath, just with these long inhales and long exhales. And not allowing those same thought patterns to come back in. Not allowing the same habitual patterns in the nervous system of the body, but releasing them. Allowing them to find new space. Allowing your nervous system to reconfigure itself. Feeling the back of your body that is connected down to the earth, heavy. 
Feel all of your stresses, worries, struggles in that weight. Coming together and then sinking, melting, spreading down into the earth underneath you. Let it go. Let it release. You don't need to hold on to it anymore. Feel the front of your body and its connection to the air. Feel each of the cells in the front of your body dancing, getting lighter and lighter. Filled with the space of each breath. Not a single molecule in the universe actually touches any other molecule. There is so much space in between everything. So feel that space expand farther and farther, higher and higher, out to infinity and allow yourself to be with your breath, to feel and experience and listen as you allow yourself to heal, to breathe, just to be. Slowly, gently coming back to your breath. Notice how you're breathing. Listening to that breath. Decide if you would like to stay right here, melting into the earth, 
or start to activate the body however it feels natural, keeping the eyes awfully shut, either releasing onto the earth or rolling on to one side or the other. If you would like, you can push yourself back to that same comfortable seated position or round out your practice down on your mat. Wherever you are, notice if your nervous system is a little calmer, if your breath is coming a little easier, if your thoughts seem just a little bit further apart. And maybe, just maybe, the distractions don't seem quite so insurmountable. Inhale the arms out and up, bring the palms together, exhale them down in between the eyes. May your life be filled with enlightened thoughts. Inhale, exhale the hands in front of the mouth. May you always have the patience for enlightened speech. Inhale, exhale the hands in front of the heart. May your heart have the healing it requires to live an enlightened life. The light in me bows to the light in you. Namaste. Take your time. There is absolutely no rush. I just want to thank you all so much for allowing me to guide you. It is truly such an honor to be given that kind of trust. I don't have all the answers. I can only show you some of the path that I have taken. Maybe some of it will work for you too. As most of you know, these are all donation-based classes. If you make it with us here in person, there's a donation station on your way out. And for those of you at home, there's a donation button on your screen. It's truly, truly appreciated. You can leave whatever you can so that we can continue to bring this service to our community and to the world. I hope that you will take some of this wonderful work with you that you've done into your day, your week, your month, your life. And it is truly a brilliant one.